Hi everyone, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel Head Outdoors Scotland where hopefully I can inspire you to explore nature in the great outdoors. Today I am preparing for a huge challenge that I'm taking on in 2019. This challenge is called A Big Year and the aim of it is to spot as many birds as possible across Scotland from the 1st of January until the 31st of December. Join me as I get ready to take it on. is a competition run mostly in America where the people taking part, the contestants, try to identify by sight or by sound as many birds as they can in one calendar year. Now I am going to change the rules slightly just because I'm quite new at this. I'm not going to trust my ability to recognise the bird songs just yet. So I want to try and see as many birds as I can but also photograph and film them so that I can share them with you as well. In preparation for my challenge I have spent lots of time looking at my bird books so that I can start to recognise and know the names of some of the birds that I'm likely to see and then I've been testing my identification skills using a webcam that is based at the Loch Garten Nature Reserve. This is an RSPB reserve up near Aviemore. Here they have a camera live focused on a bird feeder where they have lots of different birds coming to eat some of the feed. So I have been sitting and watching and seeing if I know what the birds are that pop up on the screen. Crested tip. Coal tip. <gasps> no. A grey spotted woodpecker. Oh wow. Oh, I've always heard them. I've never seen one till now. Wow. No. Oh. And sometimes you get a cheeky squirrel. The Scottish Birds Record Committee keep a detailed list of all the bird species that have ever been spotted in Scotland. An amazing 615 species are on that list. Thankfully for me, some of these birds were ones that just visited once and were unexpected, what we call vagrant visitors. So I'm going to take them off my list since I'm not likely to see them. Another group are called migrant birds and they only come at certain times of the year. Some will come to us in the winter to escape colder climates and other ones will come in the spring where there is more food for them. This is because of something called migration and it's something that we will have a look at in another video. Even though I've taken out of the list birds that I'm not likely to find, I still have an impressive 180 birds to try and spot. That is a lot. Before heading out in search for feathered friends, there are some things that I'm going to need to help me. Birds have such amazing eyesight, much better than ours. And so when I'm out looking for them, if I wear a big bright jumper like this, then they are going to spot me a mile away and they're going to fly away. So I'm going to have to change into something a bit better. Let's see, that's better. And I need to keep nice and warm. And again, I want a jacket that is dark and something that isn't going to be making too much noise, not rustling about, because again, they're going to hear me and they're going to fly away. So let's try this again. Oh, I'm loving this trick. So now just to keep myself warm and again, hide any parts of me that I can to, so I can creep up on these birds. Let's go for a hat. Perfect. 
Birds can often be quite small and they can sit quite far away. The best thing I can take with me to find the birds is a pair of binoculars. And these will help me to look around and search for those birds. Once I've found them, how am I going to record them? Ah, let's try the trick one last time. I need a camera, of course. And this has a huge lens on it that will help me, even if I'm far away, to see birds really up close. Now, it's all very well having all these tools with me, but I need to actually know where to go and look for birds. And the first place to look is right outside your window. Your garden might be the perfect place to start looking for birds. Now, our garden wasn't great because there weren't many trees, but I was so lucky that Santa brought me, on his sleigh, a silver birch tree to go in my garden so that I could start attracting birds to come along. We also bought some bushes to go around the tree, especially ones with berries, because these are a really important food for birds in the winter time. So let's go and have a look at that now. Further afield, have a look and see in your local area. Look on rooftops. Have a look if there's any grass areas or wooded areas. Have you got any ponds nearby? These different kinds of places are called habitats and this is something that we will cover in another video. These are all perfect starting places to find birds. Another great place to go are nature reserves. So I have been looking on websites like the RSPB to see where my local nature reserves are. I've printed out a list of places that I can go where I'm likely to see different varieties of birds and they will be the first ones that hopefully will get ticked off on my list. My fascination with birds is quite a new thing. Last year I was training as a forest school leader and as part of that I had to do a study on some birds. As soon as I started being more aware of them and watching them, I was hooked. They're absolutely fascinating creatures and I love learning more and more about them. During my year of training I started filming birds too. So we had a couple of blue tits nesting in our garden so I was able to capture them on film. When we were away on holiday, we've had some swallows nesting under the canopy where we were staying. I've been on boat trips to go around and visit seabirds. And the best thing of all, last year we went up to Aviemore in the Loch Garten Nature Reserve and I had cold tits feeding directly from my hand. What an experience. Can't wait to do that again this year. As some final preparation before my challenge, tonight I'm going to be watching a film called The Big Year. And this is a comedy film about people going searching for birds in America. Hopefully they will give me some hints and tips before I start searching tomorrow. So all that's left to say for now is Happy New Year when it comes and please do join me next week when we'll get a glimpse of the first birds I've managed to tick off my list.